What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I want to give a shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Keenan Greenwood, Yo Dude 48, Josh Combs, Yeet, Nicholas A. Montgomery, Silent Valor, Brendan Wells, Silverstorm Forge, Big Geek, Damn Is It, Anthony Espino, Richard Black, Owen, Fordrin, Acolyte, Sammy Wilson, Jamie Irwin, Ollie 6006, Anthony the Hedgehog, Lee John Peter Owens, Kiki, Anthony, Nia, Antonio Joia, Graffiti Turtle, Ross Lingard, T Sunset, Wolbach DKs, Goddess Gaia, Grace Shields, Midnewit, Smooth Weaver, Robin Funkhauser, Geraldine Camoen, Purex Lancer, JT Campbell, Ethan Robinson, Desi Double Zero, The Whiskey Laddie, Austin Ramirez, Liam McCabe, King Mr. Mew, and I'd also like to give a shout out to our executive producers, Joshua Fix, The Gimster 101, and Devin Brummett. Thank you all very much for your support. If you wish to become a YouTube member, click the join button, which is down by the subscribe button down below. And if you wish to support us on Patreon, click the link in the description to find out more. We'll see you there. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, damn it. Oh, wait. Oh. Damn it. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, wait. <laughs> You know what? No, I'm not playing that one. Fuck you, Al Pudding. Oh Rookie of the year, 2020. Let's go. No. No. <laughs> Cyborg Savior. Far Cry New Dawn. So, when we watched uh, One Cheesy Boy, loved it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Chad and I both like that, uh, but after we did that, we you asked the question if he played New Dawn, mm -hmm. and turns out he did. Turns out there he's done go. two videos of New Dawn. We're going to be watching the first one today. Oh, hell yeah. The Cyborg Savior in Far Cry New Dawn. So, uh, <laughs> New Dawn, I, I hadn't had a chance to play it any of it. It got hate, man. It got heat when it came out. I remember people talking so much shit about New Dawn and Far Cry 5 for the ending of it. People were like legitimately pissed like they are about Cyberpunk. Mm. About about Fallout or Far Cry 5 and uh, New Dawn when it came out. They were they were pissed. People were talking about, I'm taking this shit back. I'm so fucking mad. No, I was just like, fuck, maybe it sucked. And then I finally played them both. And I was like, holy shit, these games are epic. Sometimes sometimes it takes a little bit of time for it to be more appreciated. I mean, it, it, it's like that with certain games. I remember like there were people who were talking sh mad shit about uh, this one game from uh, when uh, I think it was Zone of the Enders. Like people mm. were saying, oh, this game, this game's a ripoff. This game's this, this game's that. This game's trying so hard to be Gundam. And now it's revered as, like, one of the most iconic games of all time. Yeah. And me, I, I, I played it, I played it, like, when it when it was out on PlayStation 2. I loved it. Mm -hmm. I loved it. And I didn't know what the comparison was. There was some weird stuff in it. But overall, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was really, really good. It's, I, yeah. I, I'd love to play it again. I'd love to play, I, it also had the, the, uh, the demo for Metal Gear Solid 2, so... I thought that was really cool. Yes. Uh, but... Well, think of how many badass movies you would have never watched had you listened to the critics. Uh, again, you yeah. I, I, they want everything to be an Academy Award winner when I'm just, like, trying to watch the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't... Like, <laughs> the Godzilla did... movies, for example. I don't give a shit what the critics say about a Godzilla movie because the last few that have come out, like the... Um, the last one that came out, King of Monsters. Yeah. Or is that the last one? That, that was the out? one with King Ghidorah. Yeah. Yeah. They decimated it. They well, the biggest thing was they the human characters were the part of the film that was the least interesting, and I agreed with them on that. But I'm like, y'all are focusing a little bit way too. What's the name of the movie again? Right. Godzilla. Who gives and a shit? And he's in the mo and he's in the movie a shit ton more in this one than he was in Godzilla 2014, which they were trying to hype. 
Yeah, his uh, his existence on his the screen being yeah. a big deal. I and get that. I, I they do too. usually they do to, that. In they the, tried to do a Jaws thing. Yeah, and I can appreciate that. Yeah, and I remember when the airport scene happened and that roar. I was just like, like I had to I had to stop myself. And then of course the final battle at the end. I wish it would have been a little more illuminated, you know, so we could see more of the battle and have a clearer perspective of it. But I can understand why it was at night. I can yeah. understand, you know, because. Uh, you know, nighttime provides like a dramatic feel to it. And I can, yeah. uh, there's artistic choices that could have been made that could have been different. I, I, I but also I think that's it. a knock on this game too. The art style that they went for, and there were I, I saw some gripes people had, but the transition between five and um, New Dawn for me, I think it's great. Especially with I the more, can, especially with the canon ending. Yeah. The canon ending being the one where you free everyone and then There's all hell breaks loose. There's a bomb anyway. All hell breaks loose. And you think you're gonna fucking die but you get locked in a bunker with guess who? Mm hmm. Oh, Father Seed himself. There he is. And so, <laughs> this one opens up with some new people fucking shit up and uh, the apocalypse has happened and uh, Senior Seed is still out and about, too. And not only that, but we lost our cheesy boy. Yeah. We lost every, everybody. Pretty much everyone, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not everybody. Well, not yeah, not everyone, but I'm, a lot of if them. If you haven't played it, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm sure we'll see cool shit in this video anyway. Don't doubt I love this game. All right. Here we go. This is Cyborg Savior, Far Cry New Dawn, by the Russian Badger. Here we go. Hop down. Yeah, so now when you throw a Molotov, Mary, things catch on fire. Brilliant. Get her homegirls on fire. Yeah, she definitely is. You've got some bold words for somebody with an ignition range. Like, you know what's on your back, right? Right. Right, Mary? Right? Right. I'm gonna toast you like a marshmallow, says the human, human firework. Yeah. Put mashed potatoes out. I'm gonna stick my dick in it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the mouth and call me Joseph C because we are still in Montana and I am still terrorizing the locals just as much as I am the bad guys. You're damn right, brother. The heretic is back in town. Damn. Yikes. Taking things off, I'd like to tell you in no uncertain terms that this is not a comprehensive video of the entire game. So I may drop some hints, but I'm not dropping any spoilers because this whole thing is just a preview. Hey man, why did you mention this tiny little feature? It's a preview! Ubisoft asked me to explore the open world and share my experiences, which translated into my brain is fuck around for three hours and whip some shit together that's not boring, which was significantly easier than I expected because I don't remember being bored once. Hey, Fiddler on the Roof, will you stop? I've already killed like six of your other dudes up here. I only wanted to have some fun. Too bad. No bull. <laughs> and before we dive <laughs> back around, a quick thank you to Ubisoft for allowing me early Damn. access and sponsoring this video. So if Damn, you like to pre-order Far Cry New Dawn or simply learn more about the game, there is a link down below me that you can touch, click, smash your forehead on, whatever. It all uh, Badger often gets these, uh, he lives in L.A. right now. I'm not sure if he lived in L.A. at this time, mm. but he got early access to Doom Eternal, and I was just like, I, I was. I, he released the video. He was allowed to. God. He just couldn't give away any narrative spoilers, and he's he was just like he he could talk about how the game works, and he was just like explaining like certain mechanics. He's like, you know, movement's very important, but also buffs are very important, and all these uh, and you know. Learning how to master your inventory, uh, how to master you know the guns and everything, and all mm -hmm. your new wet and all your new little fun toys, yeah. And and th and I'm I like when Badger does videos like this because he's just it's just him having fun. Yeah, I am inspired to try to Steam Link and play Far Cry on my phone now. After watching this video, I'm like, I know what I'm gonna go try to do. You gonna try and Steam Link and go straight for go straight for it. If I can get it to uh, get it to work. stream properly, yeah. Well, that's the thing it's with It's getting Steam better. Link. It's better. It's getting better. I've noticed month to month, this shit gets better. I think yeah. we're a couple of years, probably less, away from being able to stream games just straight to your phone. Well, that's just like you were looking at the X stream the other day, the Xbox streaming. Yeah, it's doing streaming really service. good. And it and I was watching him play Fall or Fallout Four with full mods and everything. And I'm like, damn. 
And yeah. I was like explaining to him how like the cloud services work and everything. Yeah. How you pretty much have an X amount of space in their cloud servers. And whatever is downloaded to that is then streamed to your phone, and you interact with it, like, in real time. Yeah, it's, it's neat. It's amazing. I love that stuff. So maybe this one will work. Yeah. We'll see. All does the job. 17 years after the nuclear apocalypse that brought an end to Far Cry 5, the Circle of Life has brought a lush new world of pink and green to Hope County, Montana. Where the survivors are finally back above ground and finally starting to rebuild their lives. That ends now! We're gonna take everything that you hold dear. Punk ass bitches. Starting with your home. And if we can't take it, we'll break it. Yeah, you see these two dipshit Ricky Carmichael looking wannabes right here? That's Licky and Moo. I mean, Mickey and Lou. I always forget, they're, they're twins. Give me a break. Now that Joseph Seed and the Peggies are a thing of the past, these two are the new pain in the ass with their followers, the Highwaymen, that I just call the H-Men, that have claimed all of Hope County and its resources as their own. Which hasn't gone over too well with the locals, including your boy Sharky. Anyways, fucking uh, dipshit Highwaymen. Thankfully, a guy by the name of Thomas Rush is here to rebuild the community after already building settlements on the West Coast, and you happen to be his head of security, in charge of slaughtering the H-Men and Ooh. expanding the only existing settlement. Prosperity. Why do they call this place Prosperity when it doesn't have any Wi-Fi? Like, any place <laughs> without at least 3G, free ammunition year-round, and $1 G. Taco Tuesday should be considered a prison. You're joined by the daughter of Kim and Nick Rye, Carmina, because what would a Far Cry game be without a pinata-looking sidekick with bones that are made of rubber? Carmina, don't you read Obscure Wilderness Quarterly? Bulls have an inherent weakness to baseball bats. As long as this shit doesn't break... <laughs> All right. With basic level Actually, from experience, cows have a weakness against sledgehammers and stun guns. Yes. <laughs> Especially the pointed sledgehammers. Good lord. Old slaughterhouses were scary. Hey, the first thing that I noticed, racks. I mean, ranks. Well, right. The you come across now have a conspicuous rank attached to them. And to put it bluntly, this makes a huge difference in you both their health and lethality. <laughs> Got this itch in your ass, it just won't go away. Let me help you with that. <laughs> Did I get it? No? Uh, no, still not, not getting it. A little lower. Okay, well, this guy's actually taking a shit ton of damage. This is bad. If I hit him with a. Like that paintball bath is blocking sniper rifle bullets? What the fuck? Who am I fighting? Oh my god! He <laughs> just fucked you up. Man. up rather quickly because if bullets. I guess his weakness... Wait, he told you what his weakness was. Keep shooting him in the ass. No need for the head. Relieve the itch. Yes, relieve the itch. By killing him. If won't do the job, then I'll find something else that will. Fight night round two. Fight night round two. Hoi! Maybe I'll just play darts this whole mission. Hell yeah. Hey, HR shoving stuff. Do you not see this knife in my hand? This not only applies hey. to enemies, but more or less anything that can kill you, including animals. So a stern warning... Do not trifle with the mighty bison. Yeah. The mighty bison. You want to say the, them gold boys. Oh, shit. That does like no damage. That does like five no. damage a pop. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Yeah, oh, you God. fucked yeah. up, oh, Badger. On the topic of animals, all your favorites are still around. You know, boars, dogs, crocodiles, killer <laughs> demon fish, yep. and beasts. So, you know... The usual. No, don't move, Mr. Moose. I have a permit. I have a permit! You are legally required to die! My first story mission was with this blind lady, Grace, who I would consider to be a hazard to anyone within a 40 meter range. Yep. Who's Grace? And if I was a blind as fuck, I'd be fighting right beside you. Grace, I don't want you anywhere beside <laughs> me. With trigger discipline like that, you're gonna put a hole in me the size of a dinner plate. If I swapped out your buckshot for blanks, would you even notice? But she no. lets you steal back her saw launcher, and given my laughable aim with plain old guns on a console controller, having a one-shot machine was a welcome upgrade. Ooh, double kill, you see that? It bounces. Damn. I'm sorry, I just yeah, it bounces of around inside of shit. Right I'm just not that... Sharp today! Hell, I took anything that I could get my hands on that didn't require me to land headshots, and the baseball bat was a knockout! You shit yourself yet? Oh. Did your mother ever teach you any man? Just treat the whole game like it's a batting cage. Yeet! Oh, 
on my second swing? Why did that Brit? Oh, he dropped one. Whatever. New baseball bat. Outpost <laughs> for the next hill to conquer, and it works yes. a little differently this time around. Because let's say you rip through one of these things and crush every H-man in sight this. with your cyborg fist. You know how they say that a bullet can have someone's name on it, but grenade is more like to whom it may concern? Well, dear Brit coordinates. Oh, I am <laughs> over here, my guy. See that? Piece of cake. You're then rewarded with resources, including the most important of all, ethanol, and you can either keep the outpost as a fast travel location slash place that provides you supplies, or you can take all the resources and dip by scavenging the outpost. The H-Men, or Highwaymen, if you forgot by now, will then take it back and you've got another chance to conquer it again. This, this time, harder. it's beating yeah. up defenses yeah. and enemies with a greater reward if you're successful. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Come on, that's a mortar, that's a mortar, that's a... Oh, shit. <laughs> Not good. I'll tell you what, around two of these things, these guys are tough cookies. They yes, do they not are. give up. Nope. Gosh, oh, really? Damn, I happen to be a very good source of fire! You can do this three times, and well, I think you get the idea. Likewise, you can gather resources by helping out survivors, and you better believe that I rushed my ass over to Chateau Beauchat to visit Sharky as fast as I could. Charlemagne Victor Beauchat is the name, but that is a mouthful, so most people just call me Sharky. Welcome to Chateau Beauchat. The loudest, smelliest place in all of Oak County. If you set some traps, sounds like my, generously sounds like my share place. his world famous party liquor, which you're required to drink in order to complete the mission. Try this, me and Herc's very own homemade party liquor. And this is the good private reserve shit, man. We only share this with our closest friends. Then it turned out to be straight up ethanol, anyways. So I think you're getting the value of it as a fuel Gasoline. source slash party liquor by now. Do I uh, should have warned you. Yeah, the party liquor's just ethanol. <laughs> No, really, no shit. Thanks for telling Hammer. me now. Hey, you okay? Sorry about that. That's my bad. I, I forgot not everyone goes hard in the paint like me and her do. Unfortunately, I can't show you his entire mission because I don't want to spoil it. And there's copyrighted music. Just try to picture Hurt Junior's baby launching explosive barrels of gasoline while funky music is playing, and you're blasting an M60 towards enemies with no conceivable cover. Now that I think about it, uh, this. Help out enough people like Sharky, and you'll be swimming in resources that you can use <coughs> to upgrade various parts of prosperity, like the workbench for better weapon crafting and the explosive lab to make things a little more <clears throat> explosive. If you want, I can show you how to make a bomb out of a roll of toilet paper. And a stick of dynamite. Upgrade it <laughs> parts of prosperity, and then you can upgrade prosperity itself, which will initiate a showdown where you've got to defend the fortress against an onslaught of H-Men. <laughs> Oh, I'm more than trouble, sis. Please line up. Please line up. Please line up. Holy oh, shit! Triple, triple kill. Four. Or quadruple. Four. That was a quadruple right? kill. What about you, buddy? Ah, fuck. I'm gonna take that as a no. Not a spoiler, but after you deny the onslaught, Thomas Rush reveals that Joseph Seed is still alive and supplying these ghosts that get doped out of their minds and raid entire camps as a pair. So I'm not sure if it's the bliss or some kind of... Huh? How is revealing that Joseph Seed was still alive not a spoiler. I felt bad about doing it at the beginning of the video, and this game's been out forever. Well, I think it's anyway. because it was in the trailer. Oh. New okay. drug, but I'm interested to see what kind of it smack me. Joseph Seed is dealing either way. <laughs> yes, me, they should have kept it out of the trailer. Yeah, it shocked me when I saw it. And vanished into the forest. I wouldn't call them ghosts. But I know what I saw. Those people were dope to the fucking gills. We need what they have. You realize we're talking about going to Joseph Seed. Some things never change, as in fooling around with the locals is still one of the best parts because there's nothing more fun than antagonizing perfect strangers that are packing heat. Things you shouldn't do when someone has a fully loaded 1911 on their hip. Throw rocks at them. Oh shit, she took out her strap in like two seconds. Real question is, will she fire if I do it again? I don't think so. I'm surprised you didn't cap me on sight. Like with my mechanical arm, I'm technically a cyborg, right? Don't people in Montana shoot those things on sight? Nope. Nobody at all. I'm just imaginary. What do you say? 
Thank you for saving me. Yeah, now give me your shoes. And I can't wait to hear the one-liners these H metal throw out at me once I get my hands on the full game. Because if I can squeeze this entire video out of three hours, imagine what I'll be able to do with 30. Enjoy your last breath before I puncture your lungs! Yeah, I think you had that the wrong way around. And that yeah. is about it. So I would like to thank you so very much for watching. One final thank you to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. And be sure to tune in next time when I try to find Cheeseburger's dumbass. <laughs> I got some sad news there for you, Badge. Cheesy boy ain't nowhere to be found. <sighs> what a game, though. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm really going to try that tonight just to fucking see if I can pull it off. Cause, you love damn, that game. Dude. Hey, I, may, I may just play through Far Cry 5 again and then uh, hop over on that one because that shit is just fun. Nonstop fun. <laughs> I mean, go. F I mean, so dude, fun. yeah, absolutely. Oh, speaking of open world fun, excuse uh -huh. me, just a little quick sidebar. Did you know that there was a PSP game planned that was like a, an Oblivion spinoff? Were you aware of that? No. Yeah, there was. A, there's a demo that's playable that exists, and I, I have it, and I've played it. You must see this. There's a PSP game that was partially made to be an Oblivion spinoff game, and Damn. and they even I mean it's it you could have probably just watered down Oblivion and put it on the PSP because I mean that game plays just like that would if they would have watered it down. But anyway, yeah, yeah, that exists for those of you that don't know. Well, now they know. Now you know. So it's pretty neat. Go check it out. Go check it out. Yeah, you check it out right now. But as for y'all, I recommend that y'all check out Russian Badger. Y'all yeah. check out uh, his uh, his videos and everything. He's got over 3 million subs. Well deserved, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, I uh, hope that you all uh, enjoyed this reaction. And if you want to see more, you know what to do. You hit that subscribe button. You ring that bell to stay notified. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Chad. We'll see you then, everyone. Peace out.